In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an upsell funnel to your WordPress site when you're using Surecart. Now, the first thing we should do though is go over what is an upsell. Simply put, it's a post purchase offer that you make to your buyer after they check out and its purpose is to increase the average order value of your store it's essentially there to get buyers to buy more and you're typically giving them a discount on the upsell when they take advantage of it and add it to their order. So let me demonstrate this for you and then show you how to add it to your store. I've got a store right here. I'll choose this product right here. Now I've made this upsell only work on this product. And so let's go ahead and check out. It's a beautiful desk. I'll scroll down and I'll choose buy now. And right here, I'll go ahead and I'll fill out the, the information here on the checkout. It's in test mode. Okay, I have it filled out. I'll click right here to purchase the product. And what's going to happen instead of going to the thank you page, I'm instead taken to this additional upsell offer. So I've already given my payment information, everything's been purchased, and here's an offer that's being made to me. It looks kind of great. I'm seeing here that I only have 30 minutes or so to decide if I want to add this product to my order and take advantage of this discount. And here's a heading and it says the perfect chair for your new desk. And I customized that because I wanted to reference the purchase of the desk. So it just kind of connects the experience. And then right here, we're displaying the original price and the discount. And then down here, some information on the product and I can choose the variation that I want. And then I can click on add to my order or I can choose no thanks. In this case, I'm going to click on add to my order and it's going to take this product, add it to my order with that discount. It's going to send the buyer an email saying, hey, we've added this to your order. And it's going to send the merchant an email as well that someone added this to their order. Now, instead of taking me to the thank you page, it's now making another offer. And that's because I configured this upsell funnel with a second upsell offer. So if that, that chair was purchased, then it would make this offer right after. And this says pairs perfectly with your new desk. And here's the discount. This one's a larger discount. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to my order as well. And it's going to then take me right on over to the the customer dashboard. Well, it's going to say thank you. And now it's going to take me to the customer dashboard where I can click into the order right here and I could see everything that I just purchased, my desk, the chair, as well as the lamp. And I'm seeing the discounts that I got right here. Now I was able to set this all up very easily as you're going to see right now, but there's three key things that I want you to pay attention to as I'm showing you how to set one of these up. And the first thing is when do you want to show the offer? You're in the driver's seat here. You can show it to everyone regardless of what they purchased. Or you can also have specially targeted funnels like the one that you just saw where it was only triggering when the desk was purchased. So you can set up both and you can have them run at the same time. But because of that, having multiple funnels that can conflict, there's a priority system. So you could say the funnel that that uh, kicks into gear regardless of what someone's purchasing, let's put that at a low priority so we can have some higher priority funnels when someone is purchasing something specific and we know these upsells are gonna go great with what they are ordering. And then lastly, we have the actual offer itself. There's lots of great settings and options there to truly customize this experience. So let's go ahead and take a look on how to set one of these up. So you're going to find upsells by clicking on products and then you'll see it right here, upsells, and we'll click into it. Let's take a look at the funnel that we just went through and it's right here named chair upsells and you can set the name to whatever you want. And here are those display conditions. And this is basically when you want to show this. It can be on all purchases or on specific purchases or even combinations of products that someone might be purchasing. You can control the conditions however you like. And then down here is that priority system. So in the example I gave, if you wanted a funnel that 
is a global funnel. Regardless of what someone's purchasing, they're gonna end up in this funnel. You're gonna want that as a low priority, and then you'll want to have higher priority funnels that you want to be specifically targeted when someone's purchasing a specific product. And we have this really convenient slider here for you to choose what priority your funnels have. And then right here, we actually have the offer themselves. So you get this grid and you're able to have a first upsell someone goes into, and then whether they accept that or decline it, you can then show another offer. So if it's accepted, you'll see right here, this product is being offered. And if the buyer chose that they didn't want the product, they can be offered a downsell. Now, up this additional upsell and downsell, if accepted and if declined, these are completely optional. So you can set that however you want. And uh, adding a product, so if I wanted to create this downsell offer, it's super easy. I can click right here where it says add product. And this is where you configure the offer itself. So the first thing you'll wanna do is give this a title, but this title is what is actually showing inside of the upsell that the buyer sees. So this allows you to have the designs be more reusable and dynamic. And you saw how I use this. I was referencing the original purchase that triggered this upsell funnel to begin with, saying, oh, this is gonna go great with that desk you just bought. So you can enter in whatever you want, or you can put something generic that says, hey, your order is not complete yet. There's one more step and you can have that be the text, text, it's up to you. Then you get to choose the product itself right here and you can choose if you want to discount the product. Not every upsell needs to be a discounted product. It could be a product that's only offered when you're inside of a funnel. So that would be an example of using the no discount option here. But then we also have a percentage discount and when you choose one of these options, you simply enter a percentage or a fixed amount. You simply Simply enter the fixed amount right there. Then we also have some additional display conditions. The first one is to always show this offer. The next one is to skip if the buyer is just, just placed an order for it. So if they just placed an order for this thing and you don't want to now offer it to them at a discount, we've got the option here for you. Now, the last option here says skip if purchased. This could be a little confusing, uh, but what this means is if they've ever historically purchased it or if they're currently purchasing it. Because there's cases where if someone's purchased it before or they're purchasing it right now, you might not want to offer them this because they might feel, well, oh, I could have saved some money. You don't want someone feeling bad. Now with that said, it brings us to templates. And the template system, if you've used it with our product pages, you know it's very flexible, it's very powerful, and you get full design control over everything. Now it's important to understand that templates can be used in a dynamic manner, or it can be a static template for something more specific and targeted. So if you're, for example, selling an info product, you probably want more information inside of the upsell design that the buyer actually sees. You might want videos and testimonials and step-by-step and -step what you get and all this kind of stuff. So it might be a more intricate upsell offer. In that case, you would simply use the template system to create a custom template for that offer and and choose that design and that's what would be showed. So you can use this dynamically or you can use this in a static manner. So right here, when I click on that, you can see I've already created a few custom templates. If I wanna create a new one, I can click right here where it says add new. I'm just using the default one right now. And what I can do is click right here edit, it's gonna open in a new tab and take me into the editor. Now there's certain blocks that we've added here and they're highly customizable. So what I always like to do when I first go here is to look at the list view. So if I click on the three lines here, and I can sp expand this out and I can see all the components that we put into uh, this design right here. So down here, these options you'll be familiar with if you've customized the product page, product title, the price, the information, the variation selector, quantity, and all of that. Now it's important to note that you don't have to have the design look like this. You can make it however you want. 
If you don't like this left column, right column, you can have it be all, you can have it be whatever, whatever you desire. And you don't have to have all these components. Really, the most crucial component is add to my order and no thanks. So if I don't want a quantity selector inside of my upsell, I can go here, click on the three dots, click on delete, and now the quantity selector is gone. And uh, you can make this work however you want it to work. We have some really interesting new blocks though. The first one is the, the countdown timer right here. And this is highly customizable. And those options are here on the right. So you can see right here, you can first change the text. And so if you wanted to say like special offer, you can see I just put special offer. So you get this control here. You don't wanna show the little clock icon. You can turn that off. You can adjust the width. And when you click over here for styles, you can do some nice things. So if I wanted this to visually attract your eye, I can click here where it says text. Let's just play around with the colors a little. Let's make the background a obvious yellow so you can see it's very, um, it catches your eye very quickly. Uh, let's increase the font size a little bit to make it larger. I probably wouldn't do that. Maybe, yeah, we'll go like that. And uh, let's change our padding a little to make it a little wider. Let's widen it out like that. Give it a little bit more breathing room. Let's go ahead and get rid of that very large border radius and put something more subtle like that. Uh, we can even uh, put a border if we wanted and we can even change that border color to whatever we want. I'll go without the border for now. And so you have these options here to get the design completely dialed in exactly how you want it. Now this option right here is the title and that was what shows here where it says title. So what you put here will end up right here. And then we have for the product price. This is the same product price we use on our product pages. However, pay attention to some of the options here. So this text right here that says one time discount, you can click on that and you can change that text. You can change the style and design here all that you want. So if we want to make this whole thing larger, let's make the text uh, stand out more, make it black like that. We can You can design this however you want. And this green is pulling from the brand color that you set inside of your brand settings in the store. Now, there's one thing I just uh, forgot to mention. When you saw the clock right there, uh, it said 30 minutes. You're in control of how long that is. So I'm gonna go here and show you where the setting is. So you'll go down to settings and then you'll click where it says orders and receipts and you'll scroll down and there's this option here that says time limit. Now you don't want a large time limit or a lengthy time limit. That's why we defaulted to 30 minutes. This is how much time you wanna give the person to decide if this is what they want. So if you have a really extensive template design in there with videos and lots of things to consume, you might wanna bump this up to 60 minutes so they have more time to decide. But when the time reaches zero, it's the scarcity of the upsell. You're giving them a discount, it's a special offer, and you have to take action within a reasonable amount of time. So when it reaches zero, they cannot add this to their order any longer. It's closed. And so that's why you want to have a reasonable time limit based upon what the upsell is. And so this is a global setting across your store. Now there's one additional option I wanted to show you, and that is right here where it says statement label. What happens is this is going to be added to their order and they're going to see the regular price and then they're going to show the um, the discount this is the amount removed from that price and there'll be a description next to it so typically if it's a coupon we show the coupon name but this is going to allow you to add a custom label that would show so when you're looking at it you would know if you're looking at someone's order you would know okay this was an upsell and this is um uh, and i can tell because of this label that's there. So you can leave this to bundle discount. I wouldn't use upsell discount, uh, some language like that, maybe special offer discount, one-time special offer, things like that. Um, so the buyer knows they truly got a deal on this uh, because it was an upsell and because they chose to take action on it. So as you can see in true SureCard fashion, we wanted to make this 
as easy as possible for our merchants to set up and use so that they can start generating more revenue, increasing that average order value, but not have it be this complex things to set up. You literally just choose your product, choose a few options, see if you want a discount and just let it go. There's no reason why you can't add upsells into your store right now because it's so easy to set up and it's so easy to monitor. So we can't wait to hear the amazing results that you get by adding upsell funnels to your WordPress e-commerce site. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments down below and give us a like and subscribe subscribe to this channel if you want to know when we release more new features just like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.